Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at another STG system that is now $300. Yeah, these systems keep getting cheaper and cheaper on Amazon. And if you're looking to buy something for around $300, this might be a decent option. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. You ever Google yourself and feel a sense of unease and see how much of your personal information is available online? You're not alone. Data brokers are collecting and selling your personal information, leaving you vulnerable and exposed. But what can you do about it? You can get Aura. With Aura, you don't have to worry about data brokers selling your personal information. The app will identify these brokers and make sure they remove your information from their database when you request it. The process can be confusing and frustrating. By using Aura, you can avoid dealing with this hassle and let the app take care of it for you. The best part? Setting up Aura is incredibly easy. With one app, you can access parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, and more. Say goodbye to the hassle of downloading several different apps to keep yourself safe online. Aura has you covered. Let them do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. Don't let data brokers profit off your information any longer. Sign up for Aura today and take back control of your online presence. Use our code Aura.com slash to get a 14-day free trial and see if your personal information is being leaked online. Again, that's Aura.com slash Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. So of course we have a PC selling business where we do have systems that are under $300, but they do not look gaming oriented like this one will. So today we're just trying to figure out, is it worth having that gaming aesthetic or are you actually losing quite a bit of performance to get those extra dollars in the RGB? And of course, this is another example of a PC that I'll tell you which graphics card it has, but the i7 processor doesn't say what i7 it is. It could be second, third, fourth, whatever gen it is. We'll figure that out after we open it up and see what inside. All right, so while Jackson is opening up this STG Abron PC, I'm gonna go over some of the key specs from the listing because actually it's gotten cheaper than when we first bought it. It is now $314 when originally it was $350. And a little correction at the beginning, it's an i5 processor, not an i7, but it does feature an RX 550 and it does have, well, RGB and in STG Abron fashion, there's accessories included, not just the PC. Oh, a keyboard and it's backlit. It's a backlit game keyboard. Backlit game keyboard? Yeah, backlit so it's inside. In game. Let's see if we actually have a keyboard. Now I know in the past we were, I don't remember if it was STG or a different company, we'd always get them broken. Like every time they got smushed in the box, which I will say this packing job is pretty good. Yeah, this is the one, the STG is a company that's included things like RGB sound bars and like a bunch of random stuff. They like to add a bunch of extra features that may or may not be considered e-waste by most people, but you know what, it'll get the job done. It says a uh, backlit game keyboard and mouse suite. It's it's mouse suite, <laughs> it's, it's a sweet and delectable. So yeah, I mean the keyboard is not mechanical, it's not hot swap, it's probably just static RGB. Nothing fancy, but it's better than no keyboard at all. Yeah, I think Find the mouse, mouse is right here. They wedge it really nicely in between the PC and some cardboard. So, so we yeah, have right. another STG Abron mouse. So we'll go ahead and open this thing up and see. But it's very small and light. <laughs> there it's it is. It's usually how these are. So yeah, I mean, there, there's really nothing. It's a mouse. It's a mouse that's gonna have some RGB. Honestly, a normal Dell or HP mouse would probably be better, but. But yeah, if you look inside here, the packaging's pretty solid. We got some really nice foam around there. They're the ones who saran wrap their PCs too. I remember that. Wrapping your PC like that is an interesting choice, but you know what? It's a choice and it's included. So power cable, we're yeah. good there. They've done a good job at making their own packing. Like you can tell oh. that it's very custom. I forgot oh, there's a mouse pad. pad. Needs and to it's see the RGB. Mouse pad. We got a little RGB mouse pad. Look at this. Nice. just throwing in a bunch of stuff. All right, so here's our saran wrapped computer, which I guess is a good idea. Um, I, I don't know, I just never thought about like airtight wrapping computers. It is smart but, for this. But it's it probably meant for all accessories that. accessories and yeah, stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff for all the RGB, but yeah, for $300, you don't really see gaming PCs like this that have, well, okay specs. Most of the time you'll see these PCs with like old GTX 650s or really, really bad hardware. This at least has an RX 550, which is capable of playing esports games. And as long as the i5 is not absolutely ancient, at least maybe like third or fourth gen, um, I think we'd have a pretty decent pairing for 300 bucks considering it's just a ready to ship option. So it does come with the Bluetooth adapter, Wi-Fi adapter, remote for changing your probably fans. Um, and then this is the USB, micro USB for the mouse pad. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and open this thing up. I can't up. believe they actually pack they, foam. They do, they pack foam it. They do everything. Let's see if I can do this very carefully. Yeah, this, these, these little expanding packs are actually fairly expensive. So most companies, even on nicer computers, don't even use them. So we're going to open this up and we have tempered glass, 300 RPC with tempered glass, pretty cool. Um, here is the expanding foam, as I mentioned. Yeah, this would, what is it like per average for one of these things? Like, I feel like they're like three to five bucks per pack. So yeah, they're definitely putting money into that, but I guess when you're selling on Amazon, you're selling at that volume, <laughs> you wanna make sure your stuff shows up in one piece, especially if it's gonna sit in a factory for a bit or a warehouse or wherever. 
And there it is. That is a lot of RGB. Are these fans backwards? Those fans are backwards. So we're off to a great start so far. So here's the thing, if they were the other way, they would be intake. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there is no exhaust. So really, regard whichever way they go, it looks dumb. Like, it, yes. for people who build PCs a lot, we don't like it because it just looks wrong. But, I mean, I guess since there's no intake fans, it doesn't really matter. I guess it's just all exhaust <laughs> at that point. So, well, I guess that's that's interesting, interesting choice. But um, it does come with this little tower cooler, which I, we'll probably just leave it stock right now. We won't take it all apart just to see uh, what CPU you have. We'll figure that out when we get to benchmarking. But I'm hoping, third or fourth gen, you can maybe tell by the motherboard. I don't know if it well, says anything. Well, it's weird because it has USB three, which just makes me know that this is like a remanu, like it's basically a new board with old chipset. Um, cause they, they wouldn't have came like this. This is, you know, pretty clearly a, a remanufactured board, no branding or anything. It does have two sticks of RAM, which is nice. Um, the graphics card does not use external power. It is a no name brand card. It's a 550, but they really didn't make a whole lot of full size 550. No, that looks like something you'd buy from like uh, <laughs> Acerix or something. It's like, <laughs> like an Acerix 550 or something like that. Yeah. Power supply is their branding. STG Abron, 500 watt power supply. No idea if that's any good or not. Most likely it's probably a pretty low tier power supply that's yeah. just rebranded, but you know what? For 300 RPC, PC, it seems like it's gonna get the job done. We'll take a look at the cable management also before we turn this on because you know, we care about that. The average consumer may never even take the side panel off, but that's good. Like I, yeah, I can't, bad. I can't complain about that. Proprietary RGB, obviously, that the remote will only change. But I mean, you know, it, it kind of is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, at least they're black cables. They're not like uh, ketchup mustard cables. Yeah. So it looks a little bit better presentation-wise. But yeah, the the main selling point is, and the thing that people will buy this for on Amazon is because it has RGB. And as long as <coughs> people are selling PCs on Amazon with RGB, but also somewhat decent components, then you can't really hate this thing too much. So as long as the i5 is not bad, as long as everything works properly, it does have a five. 12 gig SSD, not a That's hard a big drive. Selling point. That's a big selling yeah. point, but honestly, I expect that because SSDs are so cheap right now. They better be using an SSD. <laughs> um, but with that, and I believe, I think that's 16 gigs of RAM. Let me verify on the listing real quick. I think it's 16 gigs of RAM, which is a good decision. This um, is, I would say, I mean, for, yeah. for 300 bucks or a 314, I if this works and it has the specs that it should have, this should perform actually really well in esports titles. All right, let's turn it on and see what we have here. I that's, like those fans, they're like infinity. That's RGB, <laughs> that's RGB for you. Yeah, they had like the little infinity ring in the middle. It's, so yeah, it's just, is it just oh, exhausting or is it not? It feels like it's pulling air in. Are they like reverse blade? There's no way. If you look at it from this side, like it clearly looks like a, the back of a fan. I feel, put your hand in here. Feel how much air is coming through. I'm so confused. Unless it's just some weird, like maybe they're creating like a, a vortex or something. Maybe it's bouncing off. I don't maybe, know. I don't know. That's a weird fan setup, but with these components, they're, honestly, they're no lower. matter which way you flip them, it ain't gonna really matter. You, can take, not, or, yeah. you can take them out. Yeah. take them out. This stuff is not gonna overheat or anything, but it's cool that these are synced up and it looks like you can change them, maybe with the reset switch or it's gonna be the remote. Definitely the remote. So Definitely there is an included remote that you could change the RGB and whatever. And on top, we have two USB 2s and a USB 3 Why that is, is that? blocked because I think- But it's plugged in. Is it plugged in? Yeah, that is yeah. plugged in. Why is this here? Hmm. It's like glued in. That's kinda, kinda, weird. Kind of makes you wonder. That's a weird choice. That is a weird choice. It's like a, you know, it has like a little arrow and it's like, I don't know why they blocked that. That's really strange. Cause they have USB three on the motherboard. So like there's a USB three cable plugged in the motherboard, but then this <laughs> the little port right blocked. here is just blocked. So. I don't know, not really sure about that, but what we do know is it's on right now and hopefully it actually works because we can load it up with some games, see how it performs. The 550 and this i5 should be good for Fortnite, your Overwatches and other esports titles. Higher end games, not so much, but when we're talking about a PC for $300, can't really expect that either, but we'll test the wide range of games, the esports titles and the higher end games and show you guys if you should buy this. All right, guys, we're starting off hot. We're starting off with Apex Legends, you know, really stress this thing out. And yeah, we're currently on like, Pretty much lowest in the low settings, 1080p. Here, we can we'll get drop that this. down to none, let's Boom. see. So yeah, yeah, about 50 FPS, not smooth. Oh, oh but he got a kill, got a though. Kill, though. Yeah. Can't stop us. I, I remember the last time I took a look at one of these uh, 550 systems, we were like underwhelmed for like what it could do. Um, it is pinged at 100% right now, so that is definitely the bottleneck. And wow, dropping to 30. It won't stop me though. But he's getting kills though. He has some high end PCs oh, that he struggles on. <laughs> oh, let's go! He's missing! Ah! 
traditionally with all these systems, we had to install AMD drivers. It technically had like a Windows AMD driver, but it needed the real legit driver. It's had Windows updates. It needed a lot of Windows updates. Um, so there is stuff that you have to do with these PCs to fully maximize them uh, to their potential um, because they just sit in an Amazon warehouse for a while and uh, they don't bother with that other stuff. So. It won't stop us from first place though. It won't stop. He's to determined. He's not letting the FPS bother him. Just yeah. like you gamers. If you're a real gamer, the FPS does not bother you. You gotta start somewhere. My screen's going crazy. I don't know if you saw if there were lines across it for a second there. <laughs> Damn it. Dag nabbit! Dag nabbit. Oh, this is your moment. Your one shot. Oh, that would that how did that could have been the one. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, got him. No, they only need one more. One more kill. Is it gonna be you? I hope so. Oh, it wasn't him, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Kind of a AAA title, but realistically, it performs more like esports titles usually. So let's uh, let's see how a little more esporty game does. Fortnite, baby. All right, fellow gamers, we are now in Fortnite. We went straight to performance settings because <laughs> I figured, you know what, might as well. 90% render scale, medium view distance, medium textures. I'm gonna just drop that to low just so we. Uh, see what we got going on here. But realistically, this would be the PC that you'd use performance mode on. Uh, lower the settings and see what kind of frame rate you can get. Um, and just like Fortnite, we're gonna wait till we drop so we know exactly what kind of FPS we have. But right now it's not too bad. Um, it, it's not stuttery, it's a smooth close to 60 FPS experience. You know, I say that and we're dropping in. Just don't worry about the drop. Don't worry about it, guys. It gets better. Um, but no, I mean, we're, we're clearly held back by the 550, which it's kind of interesting. I mean, the, the i5 is pretty close to 100% utilization at times, hitting like 70 to 80. But, you know, the 550 is just a pretty just meh card. Like, it'll be fine for Valorant, CSGO, and games like this on lower settings. But I, I'm scared to even run any of the built-in benchmarks we have because uh, it's probably going to push this thing... A, pretty far to its limits. And I do want to check with GPU-Z what the VRAM amount is, because I, I have a strong feeling it's not four gigs. Yeah, the FPS is just kind of inconsistent. I mean, we're into the 60s, 70s, 80s sometimes, sometimes the hundreds on the inside. So it, it, it can be a little bit like jarring to play this way, but it's at least playable. It's not something that, you know, makes it where I'm like, eh, it's kind of unplayable. It, it, it's, it's solid. Buddy, they're, what is they're going, going kind of crazy. I'm so scared. Let's go! Dumping. Imagine all Let's go! I need to run because somebody else was shooting at me. There was a med kit up hey. there. If you make it that far. Ugh. Building oh, I knew I should have been scared! Ah! Into the bamboo field. Into the bamboo. Ooh, big old chug jug. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, buddy. Oh. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh man. Oh, whoa, <laughs> no. whoa, what is going on? Is that Master Chief? He person? Gone. He could have gone anywhere. Oh. Wow, he did not do a good job. Right? Too sweaty, too did not sweaty. sweat. No, it's not very sweaty. Oh, 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 you oh. hurt the butt. Oh, Oop, I hear, oh, hello. All right. There's a person. He stood, I, string that, cheese that was, stood still. String cheese took it. Uh oh. Got one he shot. Build. Oh! Not very good, though. Thanks. Not, <laughs> not good building, King Zach. That was kind of a helpful uh, lift right there. Oh, two people on me? <laughs> it just says head. Now everyone's here and I just died in Fortnite. Um, but you know what guys, the PC runs pretty well in Fortnite. We had to go performance settings and make it work, but for a $300 PC, it kind of does what 300 PC is gonna do. But now we finished the benchmarking section of today's video. How we go beat up McAllister and wrap this video up real quick. <laughs> All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this PC and the good news is it does work. We didn't really have any blue screening or random shutdowns or anything. So that's already a plus, which honestly, most of the STG systems we've had, we have had pretty good luck with, unlike many of the other Amazon sellers now. In terms of the price to performance, you know, I know we said $300 is absolutely amazing for a custom build like this. I will say, 
if maybe saving a few bucks in the case get a slightly better GPU, that would be worth it. Yeah, I think $300 is somewhat fair for Amazon, but it's not the most outstanding deal in the world. But if you're on Amazon and you wanna spend $300 and wanna have a little bit of room to upgrade the graphics card in the future, I wouldn't go crazy with it, but you can upgrade the graphics card in the future if you want to. It's not that bad of a deal. This thing did start out at $400 and went all the way down to 300. So for whatever reason, they are discounting this thing to make sure it gets sold. So if you wanna check this out yourself and maybe pick one up yourself, check the link in the description down below, It'll be an affiliate link, it will help us out. Let us know what you think of this system down below and would you ever buy a $300 pre-built gaming PC from Amazon? So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one, Bye bye so now that we've reviewed this PC, it will be for sale at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and merch and mouse pads coming to the website very soon. Use code TOSIBROS2 and check out and save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.